After more than a year of tough negotiations and much hand-wringing, an historic moment today at the G20 summit in Buenos Aires as the replacement for the North American Free Trade Agreement was, at long last, signed. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, U.S. President Donald Trump, and outgoing Mexican President Enrique Peña Nieto put their signatures to the USMCA. But the ceremony wasn't all smiles and backslapping. Prime Minister Trudeau took the opportunity to directly address Donald Trump on the thorny issue of tariffs. The recent plant closures by General Motors, which affects thousands of Canadian and American workers and their families, are a heavy blow. Make no mistake, we will stand up for our workers and fight for their families and their communities. And Donald, it's all the more reason why we need to keep working to remove the tariffs on steel and aluminum between our countries. Trudeau's comments came after President Trump's, meaning he didn't have an opportunity to respond. However, when he did speak, he presented an optimistic picture of the agreement. Trump says he thinks it won't have any issues crossing the next hurdle. This new agreement will ensure a future of prosperity and innovation for Mexico, Canada, and the United States. I look forward to working with members of Congress and the USMCA partners. And I have to say, it's been so well reviewed, I don't expect to have very much of a problem. All right, let's bring in CTV's Joyce Napier. She is traveling with the Prime Minister, joins us from Buenos Aires. Good morning to you, Joyce. So uh, a lot of people exhaling now. It's been signed. How would you describe the mood among the leaders at this historic signing of this document? Well, good morning to you, Marcia. That's a good question because, as you heard, Donald Trump was pretty triumphant. I mean, he's satisfied. He's even confident that Congress will, you know, sort of pass this, uh, this agreement, which is not necessarily true. We know that the Democrats now have taken hold of the House of Representatives. They're asking for tweaks. They've already said that. Um, and they may not want to hand the president a win. They're not on his team, obviously. So, you know, optimistic, yes. And, you know, for him, it's a victory. Uh, you know, the Americans always saw this negotiation as a zero-sum game like we win, the two others lose type of thing. Um, you know, Mexico and Canada always said this should be a win-win-win. Um, so, you know, you heard the applause earlier, the, the very enthusiastic applause. Well, that came only from the Mexican delegation. The outgoing president, you know, is signing his last big treaty. So they clapped and they cheered for him. Not much cheering from the Canadian delegation because of those tariffs on aluminum and steel. The Americans say those tariffs are there to stay. It's been good for the American economy. It's been good for the steel and aluminum industry in the United States. Now, whether that's true or not, that's the perception of the White House. And, you know, Donald Trump seems to want to stand by that. There are compromises, he says, that can be made, maybe quotas. And we know that Canada does not want to accept quotas. So we don't know where that will go. But you could feel the tension from Justin Trudeau. He did not want this to be a big celebration. He wanted to sign the deal because he said, look, this is for the stability of the Canadian economy and of the North American economy. It's a big trading block. It's an important block. But those trade, those tariffs on aluminum and steel are obviously, you know, still looming on Mexico and Canada. Okay, I have to ask you about some of the language used by the Prime Minister, because at one point during the speech, as we understand it, the, the Prime Minister was a bit softer than what we heard or what we saw on paper. And he, he went over to French and he was speaking directly to President Trump. Tell us about that and, and what the message was. Well, his message was clear and his, and his people told us that. The, the Prime Minister's office was telling us that even before the speeches, even before the signing, that, look, this is not a celebration for Justin Trudeau. He kept a very sober and actually a somber tone almost, said, yes, this is a good deal. It was almost like he, he had to sign it because not signing it would put, you know, the Canadian economy in peril. Uh, you know, Donald Trump is an unpredictable character. Who knows what he would have done? So he signed it. But, you know, there was no enthusiasm from the prime minister. And he was the only one 
who raised those tariffs on aluminum and steel. The Mexican president who spoke Spanish did not mention the, the, the tariffs on aluminum and steel. Uh, his you know, tone was a lot more cheery. I guess the most somber tone came from the ca Canadian prime minister. All right. Joyce Napier joining us from Buenos Aires. Joyce, thank you for that.